where this road is supposed to lead We got nothing but time As long as you're right here next to me Everything's gonna be alright If it's meant to be I want to welcome you to a let's talk about the video while we eat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to eat that or not. <laughs> but as you can see, I have grits, ham, cheesy eggs, and my raisin bread. I love my raisin bread. So I'm going to say my grace first and then we're going to begin. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the food that has been pre prepared for me. Um, make it a nourishment to my body and bless the hands that prepared it. Amen. Okay, guys. I decided to come up with a topic to talk about. Um, you know that um, right now we're, we're, we're wearing masks. Supposed to be wearing masks all the time. So, I have made some masks. I made more than this. But, I have my yellow mask. My green mask. And I have a pink one that I'm talking about today. I have more, you see, Mickey Mouse mask. I have a cartoon carrier mask. Cartoon yeah, cartoon um, character, excuse me, character mask. And uh, I'm looking at, it looks like we're going to wear this for the rest of the year. So because we're going to be wearing it for the rest of the year, I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and make me enough of them so that I don't have to keep wearing the same one over and over. Because I know that's what I've been doing. I spray it down with Lysol and then I'll put it back on. But honey, that breath get to be cooking. Okay, it get to be kicking. Okay, so the title. Is. <laughs> My brain just froze. Can I date. During this. Pandemic. No. Can I start a new relationship. During this pandemic. Okay. Would you start a relationship during this pandemic? So, yes, these grits are good. You ask yourself that question, you know? It's a good question. Because you look at, I mean, it kind of coordinate with, um, HIV. If you both go get tested and you both come out negative, then I guess you can start a new relationship. But you no, know, it's so scary right now. You know? Because think about it. What if this person is being a cheater? Then that means he's going around making his rounds with different women. And could you get sick? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard. I mean, think about it. You can protect yourself from HIV by using condoms okay can you protect yourself from I call it well I'm gonna say pandemic <laughs> but it was like that but can you protect yourself from that and honestly no 
Because unless you're going to have the mask on the whole time. But you're going to want to kiss. Touchy Philly. You know? I don't hear the inside I have on shit. The lighting is getting kind of crazy because guess what happened? The light from my window has went. Why? And then I do have where I can plug my um, other light up, but uh, I'm too far away to plug it up. So guys, I'm sorry the lighting is going to be bad. I started this when the sun was out, but now it is pouring down raining. So that's why the lighting is not so good. But back to what we were talking about. It would be very hard, you know, unless you're now, if y'all just dating and you're not having a physical contact, then there's something you can do because you're wearing a mask. You know, so you have to really think about it. Can I start a new relationship right now? You may be in the store talk, walking to somebody. Y'all might still be the six. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. I was talking to my boo, and I was eating my food while I was talking because I hadn't ate breakfast yet, so I had to eat while I was talking. Um, what we were talking about before I place you all, we froze. <laughs> um, a person may be six feet distance between each other. You know, he like her or she like him. They exchange numbers by cell phone. And, you know, they start up a new relationship. So people are doing it. But when you look at society right now, the pandemic has really hit the Hispanic communities a lot here lately and here in Florida to the point people will be scared, really scared. You know, you have to make sure you save. That's why I was saying it's just like taking the... Uh, you know, HIV test, making sure both of y'all are okay before you start a relationship. A lot of people don't do that anymore. They just start a relationship. But it's, it, it's scary. So, I guess the answer to my question was, would you start a new relationship during this pandemic? Me, personally, I wouldn't. Because... The only good thing that can come out of starting a relationship, a new relationship, if you're a person that's by yourself and that person is calling, checking up on you, making sure everything is okay, y'all are not having physical contact, but that person has your back, that's something different. That can be a friendship. But, you know, right now during this time, a lot of people don't want to be alone. And they will start a new relationship. And then the next thing you know, they both are suffering from this pandemic. So that's that's what you have to look at. You have to look at, can this hurt me? What can I do? And honestly, it can really hurt a person. It really can. Because. I don't know. We are already trying to figure out. How you know they said that it's spreading by. Um, you know. In the air type of thing. It's leftover. I'm going to call it leftover germs in the air. So. I just look at, <clears throat> if you're going to just have a phone friend, you know, something in that perspective, you're not going to communicate, you know, via 
person face to face. I mean, these days, I'll, I'll, half of y'all out there got sell, um, iPhones. Me? No. I don't even care for all that. But like I said, half of y'all out there got sell, um iPhones so you can see the person. Okay? Just like, I ain't going to put this person's business out there. But I am, but I'm not going to say who they are. I know a couple of people, they're dating people. Well, excuse me, they're dating one person. And they talk so much that they'll be sleep with their iPhone going. Because <laughs> that's, that's the way they go to sleep. They'll be talking to each other. Then they'll fall asleep and the iPhone's still going. I said, y'all a mess. But. Mm -hmm. The reason I wouldn't do it. Because this. I'm going to say demic. <laughs> this pandemic. is nothing to mess with. At first, no, I wasn't wearing no mask. I thought it was the stupidest thing in the world. And the reason was, I'm not close to people like that. You get too close to me, I'll say, ah, well, hold up, wait a minute, back that ass up. Excuse my French, but I tell them to back that double S up. You don't need to be all up on me. But now that I know someone can sneeze 25 feet over there, Okay, and it that 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 aroma can take its time and get over here where I am. <clears throat> but if I'm wearing the mask, it's gonna protect me. Right now, my glasses are protecting me right here. And when I feel something, uh, I mean, a lot of people are gonna think I'm crazy. But Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. Hmm. If I feel something I got on me. Long as I'm now, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna do a disclosure on this. I'm not telling people what to do, not doing that, but I'm gonna tell you what I do. Long as it's not in my eyes or anything, like if I feel like maybe some spit got on me up here, I'll take that wipe and wipe that area out. And I use these, don't have a lot of chlorine, don't have, I mean, it kills the germs, but it's safe. And I just wipe it off wherever I feel that, that something got on me. Just like when my boo, he sneezed. I be like, uh, uh, uh I, I say something else. I tell him, don't be bringing that all around here. If people get my drill, leave that all over there. Don't bring that all over here. So, you know, I have to be careful. He has to be careful. So that's why you have to be really careful if you're going to think about entering in a relationship during this time of our life. Due to the pandemic that's going around. Now they're doing a lot of research. Trying to figure out. Some people can have a stronger. Than others. And it could be. They find out. Some came from. Uh, Washington. I think that was Washington D.C. I don't know. Let me take that back. I just heard the word Washington. I'm not sure. D.C. or state. I don't know. So don't don't come at me. But some could have came from one of those places. Some came from China. You know. So. Ooh. So the thing is. You know. They come from different places. And then sometimes you got to look at it when it comes from somewhere. Okay, we'll use this. If it came from China, you got the heart effect. It's just like the eye of the storm. Sometimes we're not going to get that effect because ours is going to be more, less harming to our body because it didn't come from the beginning. It came somewhere else where it took time and it done faded out. You would think that because it came from the first place where it was discovered that it should have been done slowed down by now. But that's not true. It's just like that hurricane. If you in that the spot they tell you that it's gonna really tear you up, that's the sad part. 
you stuck. But, like I was saying, no, I will not date a new person or start a new relationship during this pandemic. And the um, reason being is it's unsafe right now. These days, it's unsafe naturally if that person ain't 100% committing. So, especially when there's something going around, anyone can get it at any moment, any hour of the day. You have to make sure you're good. So, I'm going to talk about the people with nails. Be very careful. If you have acrylic overlay over your nails, be careful. Because you washing your hands with hot water, you washing your hands more frequently. I don't care if you got the best nail artist in the world. That water, if it lifts just a little bit and you don't know, that water get under there, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's going to take a lot of work. And I'm a living proof of it. It's going to take a lot of work to get it back together. So be careful. Definitely keep washing your hands. Keep cleaning yourself. Because you want to make sure when you go out, you know, you don't take anyone. You don't take anything with you. And you think, oh, I don't be that close to people. But remember the air. So it's, it's scary right now. I know I fumbled. I was everywhere. But I just thought about that. I was like, can, you know, is people really starting new relationships right now? So, I needed to know that answer to that question. So, guys, I know this lighting is horrible. And I apologize so many times. Because I thought it was the perfect time when I started. As you see the beginning of the video, you see it was much lighter. And now here at the end, it's crazy. But I want to say, if you like the video, if the topic was interested, two things I would like you to do. Give it a big thumbs up to keep my Let's Talk About It going. And leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me, is it something you would do? Um, something that you wouldn't do? You know... Or what measures and steps would you take to be safe if you did do it? If you are not a warrior, hit the subscribe button to become a warrior. Along with, click the notification button to be notified of all videos. Share this video. It may be something somebody is thinking about. It may be a topic that can help someone. You know, I, I did the best that I could think at the moment. But hope it helps somebody else. So, I want to say thanks for watching. So come around.